Hey everyone, let's talk about three listening tips to improve your listening skills. Listening might be one of the most important skills that you master in your life. Do you know why? We listen more than we talk, we listen more than we write, we listen more than we read. But most of the time we have these two ears and we don't know what to do with it because you probably have too many tabs open in your mind. Maybe you interrupt people. Maybe you feel like, oh, I have so many things to do. I can't give my time and attention to someone else. But you might not even know how to listen in the first place because most adults, I'm going to say, were not taught how to listen. So this becomes a vicious cycle. If adults do not know how to listen, how do kids know how to listen? And they don't know how to teach other back and forth. Most people would just say, listen. And that's how they teach people how to listen. But here are three listening uh, skills that you can use to uh, listen better on a daily basis, listen to your personal friends, family, co-workers, and you can see your, just, see your life change around you. And here's the first one. This is one of the biggest issues. People don't feel like they have the time and attention to give to someone else nowadays. So back in the 1950s, they did a study. What was the average human attention span? What do you think? It was around 45 seconds. And that's why uh, the, the TV commercials were that long. So in 2000, they did the study again. What did it drop down to? Drop down to 12 seconds. And they did the study again around 2015 and it went down to seven seconds. And they said a goldfish has an attention span of eight seconds. So that means you can talk longer to a goldfish than to someone like me or someone like you or some other people who's hooked on social media all of the time. Here's the, num here's the first tip. The most honest part of your body, some people say, are your feet and your legs. And I agree with that. Have you ever noticed that someone's feet is facing the door when you're talking to them, that probably means I want to go. Or even if you're ever at a networking event, how do you know when to interrupt a group? All of the feet are facing all over the place because they're, di they're distracted. Now, if you were on your smartphone, where are your feet? Right? If someone's trying to talk to you and say, hey, can I get your attention, but you're busy on your computer, and you're, you're trying to answer email, and you know your feet is facing that direction because some, that, some, that something is more important right now, how can you, okay, turn your feet to the person because the act of just turning your feet, you're basically saying, hmm, how can I give my time and attention to that thing or that person right now? So it's more important because once you trick your body into doing it, you, get, you are choosing to become a better leader. You are choosing to become a better listener. So that's very easy. To become a better listener, can you turn your feet and give your time and attention to your wife? to your husband, to your kids, to your coworker. And this is very hard. And here's tip number two. Do you feel like you interrupt people? Do you feel like you have too many tabs open in your mind and you wanna just get through things? Or maybe you're one of those people, you have a whole paragraph constructed before the other person just finished uh, talking. It's called the four seconds. When someone finished talking, count up to four seconds in your head. You can take a deep breath. Right? Something magical happens in second two and three. They keep on talking. So that's very easy. Count up to four seconds, wait up to four seconds, breathe up to four seconds when someone when you think someone is done talking, because this helps you stay present. This tell, helps you not interrupt people. And it's all it's not gonna be an awkward pause. Here's the third tip. Repeat some of the words back to the person. Now, this might sound very strange at the very beginning, but this works magically. So for example, what did you have for breakfast this morning? The person says, oh, I had a banana smoothie. Oh, a banana smoothie? I always love making smoothies. What kind of recipes do you have? You see, repeating back the words helps you become present. Uh, actually, it's called active listening because you are actively listening to what the other person is saying no matter what you're talking about oh yesterday i was walking down in downtown and i went to um, mcdonald's oh you went to mcdonald's what did you get see when you use the word from the other person they have a vision in their head already you can relate to them faster because they actually just said it so these are the three listening tips that i want to give you today if you have any other questions my name is kit pang don't forget to subscribe I do a lot of communication uh, tips and lessons. See you all later. Bye-bye.